did he get on the arm of the chair? <laughs> Silly Corgi. Hi, this is Sally Morgan, physical therapist, craniosacral therapist, and Tellington T Touch practitioner for animals and people. <laughs> and this is Tristan, he's a corgi. And we're here for another episode of Conversations with a Corgi. And brr, it's cold outside today. It is uh, about 30 this morning and plummeting to 25 throughout the day. And boy, Minnesota, really cold. They're, they're getting January weather in November. Here we've had, you know, pretty much. September weather for October and November and so it's a little bit of a shock to the system and a lot of the plants have just folded. I mean I had roses blooming um, in my yard up until two or three days ago and it started to get really cold and it's going to stay cold until next week. So just wanted to remind you today about some of the things you need to keep in mind when the weather gets so cold like this. Don't leave your dog in the car uh, for any length of time. If you're just running in somewhere for five minutes and the car's been fully heated, it won't get that cold while you're in there. But the two hour shopping spree to the mall, A, never a good idea to bring your dog to the mall because so many people break into cars in our mall and take dogs and then ransom them. So that's really dangerous. In addition to which, it, you don't know when you're coming back to the car and you want your dog to be safe and warm and comfortable. And if you're not taking him for a walk, he can stay home. So the other thing to keep in mind is that you shouldn't leave your dog, okay, go on up on that arm if you want. You shouldn't leave your dog outside for any length of time when the weather is like this. I have a neighbor who has a poodle who sometimes leaves that shaved poodle outside for hours in this weather. And sometimes on the screen porch, the screen porch is not warm enough for a poodle, which has hair, not fur in the first place, which is not as warm and without a jacket on the dog it's just not appropriate you need to really keep track of your dog when the weather is this cold so don't leave him out for any more than he needs time to do his business don't get on the phone or watching a tv show and leave him outside and forget about him and especially after dark when it's even colder and the ground is cold coming up onto their feet and of course with snow there's all sorts of precautions we'll talk about later on about what kinds of snow melt and things you should use on your doorsteps for your dogs. But make sure you check their feet when they come in and get the snowballs out of their tootsies and trim the fluff in between the toes so that it will prevent some of the snowball buildup. And today, <clears throat> I won't be here because I'm going to the equine affair, but if Tristan were coming with me or if we were gonna take a long walk, I certainly would want to put a jacket on him, mostly because this is unusually cold weather after what we've had and even though he is a corgi and believe me there's a lot of fur on this dog <laughs> i would still want to use one of his jackets so he has several this one is his really thick january coat it's uh knitted it's wool and it is really warm and i'm just wearing this heavy sweater right now myself because i'm going to the equine affair and it's going to be cold and we'll be outside all day and i'm already feeling overly warm in my house so if I put this on Tristan right now, he would roast. And it's too much coat for him to wear outside, even though it's 20 something degrees out with a strong wind. And if I had for him one of those dog rain jackets that's windproof, that would actually be an appropriate thing for him to wear because of his coat. If you have a Chihuahua though, or a dog with less hair, a Greyhound, a Pointer, you're gonna want some kind of covering on them. So he has a couple of other coat varieties here. This one is not made of wool, it's acrylic, and it covers a lot of him. And this one, and it says it's a size extra large, which is fairly hilarious considering he's a 19 pound dog, but most of these things are made for littler dogs. So this one would be okay for him today because it is acrylic, um, but it kind of covers a lot of him. You know, it's not gonna keep him totally warm. And what it's gonna do is just help break the wind from getting through the loft of his fur. Dogs like him with the double coat have a pretty good insulation layer between the uh, fluffier inner layer of their coat and then the outer more smooth layer um, that's often more oily and that helps to repel the wind and the cold. 
But, you know, if you've ever been outside in a not windproof coat, like if I were to wear four sweaters and go outside, I'd be much colder than if I was wearing some kind of windproof jacket and fewer sweaters because the wind goes right through the loft and the sweaters. And the sweaters are similar to your dog's coat because after all, a good sweater is made out of wool, which comes from a sheep's coat. So this would be good because it is acrylic. It's not too, too warm. It doesn't breathe that well, which is also a good thing to have on a windy day. But today, if Tristan were going out, we would wear his little blue one because it's not as warm. It doesn't cover all of him. He's super cute in it. <laughs> Bissy, can I have a piggy? There you go. Good boy. Whoops, we're missing the hole. There we go. You have the other piggy? He says, Mom, this is a balanced activity for me on this chair. And this is a great little jacket for him. It has a cute little scarf. It has a place here for his leash to go. His fuzz buns are out, which actually will help keep him a little cooler so that he won't get overly hot in it. He's cute in it. <laughs> um, and if we were to take a long walk today, typically I walk one to two miles a day with him. Um, he would wear this just to keep him a little warmer with the wind. I mean, it's just the wind chill here is about zero degrees right now. So, um, and it's going to get worse over the day. So I would definitely want to keep him a little bit warmer. So keep in mind what your dog's needs are. And like I said, if you have a little dog that's got like no hair, like a Chihuahua or a Yorkie or, you know, any of those small breeds, you definitely want to keep a jacket on them when the weather is like this. And dog coats are so ubiquitous now. You can get them in every store. This one came from the big lots. And when I was in TJ Maxx the other day, I mean, they just had a whole row of dog clothes and they're mostly made for small dogs. If you have a pointer or a Weimaramer, you're going to have to go to one of the big catalogs. Most of the human outdoorsy catalogs like L.L. Bean, Eddie Bauer, um, Land's End, they, and even uh, Company of Dogs, they have really good, and, and many horse catalogs too, Dover and Stateline Tax Supplies have really good coats for dogs because they make, you know, and sell horse coats, which are also really excellent. So if you have a bigger dog, you might have to go to a catalog like that. But um, if you have a small dog, you can really go to practically any store these days that sells, you know, a variety of items like TJ Maxx or Marshalls or Big Lots and Walmart sometimes and find great little dog coats that don't cost so much. And it's really, really, really important when it's cold and windy out like this, if your dog's out for any length of time to have a coat on. And some chihuahuas in this weather will be freezing cold even in the house. Many of my Chihuahua friends have a wood stove or an electric fake fireplace uh, heater thing. And the Chihuahuas just love to lay in front of that in a basket, just like a cat, and get uh, warm all day long. And of course, if your doggy's going out for just a quick tinkle, you might not need to put the coat on. But, you know, like I said, I take about a two-mile walk with Tristan, and that's about 40 minutes. And so he's definitely going to need a coat to keep him warm because it is really windy out. Right, Tris? How are you doing? Are you too hot under there? And a good way you can take your dog's temperature is by the tip of their ears. Um, his are a little chilly right now, and that's his normal temperature. But when a dog is really cold, the ears will be really cold. And when they're super heated and have a temperature, the ears will be warm. And also you can do the ear slides like I'm doing now, which will warm your dog up. And don't forget the shock point at the tip of the ear that you can just rub or do tea touches with if your dog is really struggling from something. For instance, if he falls into a cold stream with his coat on and you have to run him home, you might have to do that shock point on his ear, as well as the triple heater meridian at the base of the ear, which is for respiration, reproduction, and digestion. We're not using that reproductive one too much, are we, Tris? <laughs> okay, so... Keep your dog warm today and for throughout the weekend it's just unseasonably cold and of course we've all been through the shedding it's that time of year when they get their winter coats but a lot of them aren't quite through growing their winter coats yet and it's just a drastic change in temperature like us they don't adjust as quickly um, when the temperature change is so drastic they really do better like we do with a gradual decline in temperatures and then suddenly it's very cold out and you're used to that. And I know certainly with my horse, he used to be 
um, so furry in the winter being a Morgan and he he was fine until December with not too much blankets but boy January we started piling them on and he had rain blankets snow blankets indoor blankets outdoor blankets and even though I didn't clip him we still had a whole blanket thing and a lot of barns so that's a big situation because some horses aren't good about getting their blankets on and off a lot of people are very particular about which blanket goes when and where and your horses do often need blankets in Massachusetts in the winter even if you don't clip them um, and it's mostly to just keep them dry because like dogs horses hair can't loft up and keep them warm when it's wet and smashed down um, or has ice on it certainly I've I've gone out to catch my horse sometimes in a storm and the part that's not in the blanket is like a frozen ice crystal and then I bring him in and his mane and his fur on his neck his hair is just a solid sheet of ice and he gets very wet and cold when it's melting so thank God they have us to take care of them so if you're bringing your dog out for a long walk today think about getting him a coat and if you're out shopping stop in some of these stores and maybe you can find a little coat for your dog because they do need them sometimes and really a corgi not the first choice I would say for a dog that really needs a coat but since I've had these coats for Tristan I have found them quite useful um, and certainly when it's so cold that he would need that brown one that's really thick knitted wool I'm not staying outside that long when he needs this. I mean, this is probably twice as warm as the fur that he has on him. So it's, he could get pretty hot when he's walking in that. So anyway, take care of your dogs today with the cold weather. Don't leave them out too long. Don't leave them in your car. Um, don't take a too long of a walk with them unless you have something to keep them warm. And be aware that you can get some sense of their temperature by they're touching their ears. And you can warm them up also by stroking their ears with the T-Touch hair ear slides, which you can look up on Conversations with a Corgi on YouTube from, I don't know, episode 20 or so was ear, ear slides. So thanks for joining us today. I'm off to the Equine Affair in a while. I have a couple clients this morning and I might do a Facebook Live there because my friend Wendy Murdoch is there as well as Joyce Harmon. And it's just gonna be a fun day with one of my clients. Um, and hopefully we'll be able to do a live from there without carrying around too much equipment. Just the phone and the microphone should be about all I can manage. And Tristan's gonna stay home and take care of the house. So thanks for joining us today. Keep your pets warm. If you have outdoor cats too, um, don't leave them out too long. Try to get those little buggers in. I know that cats are on their own schedule and you can't get them in all the time when you want them, but the temperature is dropping throughout the day and uh, better to keep your cat close to home uh, because it could, it's drop, it, in one place I heard on the radio, it, was, it dropped seven degrees in five minutes. That's pretty dramatic. So keep those kitties nearby. We'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Thanks for joining us and we'll see you tomorrow. Everybody have a great day. You got lots of sunshine, but wind. <laughs>